Today I'm sharing some super simple ways to update your new season style so you not only look great, but you feel great too. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Now at 57, my days of sacrificing comfort in the name of fashion are well and truly behind me. I kid you not, I do not like wearing something if I don't feel super comfy as well. But it is absolutely achievable to have wearable, fashionable pieces and outfits. And today I'm sharing six new season trends that are not only going to have you looking your best, but feeling your best too. Now, first up, and this is undeniably the biggest trend for the season, and that is cropped jackets. Now, I've talked a little bit about cropped jackets in recent videos and shared some easy styling tips on how to wear them. I'll link a couple of those videos down below for you if you haven't seen them already. But cropped jackets are where it's at this season. And there are so many different styles on offer too. There is everything from suede, there's faux fur, there's some beautiful crop jackets with contrasting collars, kind of along the lines of the barn style coats that are also happening at the moment. The contrasting collars are definitely very cool and a kind of a new addition for this season. There are some beautiful cape style cropped jackets. There are some cute little bombers available. And yes, we did see crop trenches last season, but they are still happening this year. So if you invested last year, definitely get your cropped trench coats out for this season as well. And as you know, the trending color of the season is burgundy or maroon or wine or whatever you call it. So there are some really gorgeous cropped jackets in this color as well. So if you want to know how to style them, I will link a couple of those videos in the description box below. But one of the easiest ways is to team your cropped jackets back with a longer line underneath. A very simple way to do it is perhaps a man style shirt and you get that little bit of extra coverage. Otherwise, if you like wearing them cropped and that's a style that that kind of works well for you, then lean into some of the higher waisted jeans and pants around because these are perfect to team back with anything that's higher waisted. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Foreo for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, six months ago, I talked to you guys about this cute little UFO 3, which I have been using ever since. And I credit this to getting my glow back. Let me show you how I've been using it. So I like to use it in the mornings because it only takes two minutes and it leaves my skin feeling amazing. All you do is place a specially designed Foreo mask onto the device and then you choose which treatment you like. The UFO3 has eight different colored LED lights and each do something different. The red stimulates the production of collagen, the orange helps to erase sun damage, and it even has a massage setting, which is really lovely. You can also use it with your favorite water-based serums and skincare products, so it basically helps to supercharge them. You can control the UFO3 from the actual device, or there's an app that you can download onto your phone. My skin is naturally dry and dehydrated, and I find the older I get, the harder it is to really keep it nourished. So if you'd like to add this nifty little tool into your routine too, then right now you can take advantage of the biggest sale of the year with up to 50% off plus an additional 10% off with my code STYLEINS10. These products are rarely discounted so now is the best time to grab a great deal. Anyway, this little tool has definitely been a great addition to my regular skincare routine. So if you want to try it out for yourself too, then take advantage of that discount code and I will leave a link to Foreo and more details in the description box below. So if you would like to try and get your glow on too, then click that link and check it out for yourself. Now this next one isn't necessarily a trend that I've seen talked about a lot, but it is a trend that I see see a lot and I particularly love personally and that is midi style slip skirts. Now I have a couple myself and I actually would go as far as saying they are the most valuable 
piece, pieces that I own because they are transseasonal. You can wear them easily in summer or in winter. You just layer them up with some tights and boots or trainers or an ankle boot. They are super flattering. They hug your figure. They look great teamed back with sweaters and knits. That sort of mix of the different textures works really well to create an interesting outfit. And there are so many of them around at the moment. So really interesting colours. Wasabi green is a colour that I've seen. It's probably not one that I would buy in a slip skirt because I would not get the same amount of wear out of it that I would like to. But there are plenty around and just... Think of it as a skirt that is really flattering, but also a timeless option and one that can be easily dressed up or worn more casually as well. So for that reason, they are, as I said, a piece that I will always own and love. And please believe me when I say they are especially flattering on. Now, one of the other trends this season, which I think is really fun and perfect to add a little bit of a dopamine hit to your winter outfits, and that is an accent shoe. Now, of course, we saw lots of coloured trainers happening over spring, summer, and that's very much evolved and continued on to fall, winter this year as well. So think of a kind of a monochrome style outfit, and the shoes are the piece of the outfit that does the the talking that's kind of the wow factor to the outfit. There's also some beautiful bright yellows, purples, wasabi greens, and these are all sort of happening in your classic pointed toe slingback style shoe, which is very much another style that's happening for winter. Now, I know that this is not going to work for everyone depending on where you live and where you live and the climate, but certainly if you're looking for an outfit that's just a little bit special, some of your colourful slingbacks and in particular pointed toe heels are definitely going to be a great look this season. There's also plenty of beaded and kind of blinged out little flats and shoes for this season as well. But the trend as a whole is very much an accent shoe where, as I said earlier, the shoe does all the talking and it adds that wow factor to an outfit. And that leads in really nicely to the next trend and that is animal print accessories. Now, of course, I just touched on the shoes, but animal print accessories are very much a trending look for the season as well. And again, you get the beauty of these pieces working back with pretty much everything you already own. So think things like animal print scarves and beanies, maybe a cute little purse or even a animal print twin set, a sweater set. I've seen a few of those which are very cute or even an animal print cardigan or even some animal print bracelets. Think of adding something that's a little bit animal print-like to some of your outfits. And this next trend is really sort of giving a bit of a nod to the Copenhagen street style girl look and it's a trend that I particularly personally love and have been wearing on repeat for quite some time now and that is sweatpants but sweatpants in a way that's kind of given them a little bit more of a modern and a slightly dressier look and feel to them. So an easy way to do this is to team them with a interesting sweater or wear them with a button down shirt and left sort of hanging out, maybe a striped button down shirt. You can team them with a blazer to kind of instantly give them that little bit more of a smart look and feel. You can wear them with a heel. They're really such a versatile piece. And the reason I particularly love them is because they are super comfortable. There are lots of options on offer as well from more of a wide leg pant style, which is what I particularly like. But there are also sweatpants that are kind of gathered at the ankle if you like something that's not quite as baggy. There are some cool options with slits at the ankle. Throw on a baseball cap and you've got a really smart outfit. So sweatpants have made it on this list because I do believe that they are 
really easy to wear and they're just a great way to give a little bit of a modern sort of street style vibe to your looks. Now we all know that barrel leg jeans and pants are still very much happening this season but if I had to choose one particular style of jeans that is very much on trend for this year and certainly it's a style that can be worn any time it's quite a timeless style and that is more of a mid-rise loose fit full length jean now the reason that this particular style is on my list is not only because it's trending but because it is almost universally flattering so that basically just means that it is a style that works for most people this style definitely helps to elongate your legs it also creates a, or helps to create a balanced outfit. And I know for some of you, this kind of wider style pant can be a little intimidating, but it really is one of those styles that you need to just try. And once you try it and find a pair that is great for you, you'll probably wonder what you ever wore before. And if you are someone that loves that sort of oversized blazer trend, then this style of jean will work back with that really well also. It's kind of just creating that lovely balance. Of course if you're a little bit more on the petite side you do potentially just need to style these jeans back with something that's perhaps a little bit more fitted and then wear your oversized piece on top or equally team them back with one of the cropped blazers and jackets that are happening as well. And I do often get comments on videos when I talk about jeans from some of you saying that you're just not into wearing jeans and I would always argue that it's just because you haven't found the perfect pair for you. So if you are still on the lookout for a great pair of jeans, because I truly believe that they can be one of the hardest working pieces in your wardrobe, then maybe give this particular style a go because as I said, they really do suit most body types. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.